Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. So y'all, we made it. Welcome to 2020. Um, this is exciting. Uh, I just really feel like this is going to be a really exciting year for all of us. Uh, not just an exciting year, but a really a, an exciting decade to come. So congratulations to all of us that made it through the hell that has been the last, I want to say two and a half years. I know for many of us, there was a massive activation that happened in the summer of 2017. I know that's when my activation really happened, <laughs> like big time. And then, you know, 2018, 2019, 2019 especially though, were periods of purging and healing and letting go of things that no longer serve us so that we can create space for that which we truly desire and what we really want in our lives. So welcome to that decade where it seems that this stuff is gonna be coming through. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. And also, I'm very excited for you guys to see the readings for this month, um, for January of 2020. Uh, as I was doing them, you know, they were all ugh, all coming out really great. Even though there were some, you know, challenging parts for certain signs or certain situations, ultimately, though, it's all a good thing. And it's all, um, Spirit is saying, even now, it's a process of healing and... Um, uh, process of healing that is taking place in order for us to really break free from the chains and do what it is we truly desire in our lives yeah so just a few things um i want to mention first if you are interested in getting a personal reading please don't hesitate to email me all of the information is in the description box below um just keep in mind that if you are looking for a private a personal reading your best bet is to just email me first as that's where I'm most likely going to direct you. You can hit me up on Instagram. That one is a pretty good option. I'm, However, I'm going to be asking you for your email address anyway, so you may as well just want to email me if you want to do that. Do not send any inquiries through Facebook. I will not be taking uh, private reading inquiries through Facebook. Yes, that is just not as a reliable source for communication at least in my opinion, as I've experienced moving forward, yeah? Email is always the best, but also Instagram is a good way too. You can find all of that information, the link to my Facebook page, the link to my my Instagram page, and my email address, along with all of the readings that I offer, their descriptions and prices in the description box below, yeah? Um, so for the readings this month, Oracle Guidance is coming again from the Earth Warriors Oracle. I really, really love this deck. This was a gift from one of our subscribers here. Thank you so much, Sam. I really love this deck. Um, and then the readings themselves are structured a little bit differently. First of all, I highly recommend that everybody watches the Capricorn reading as we are in Capricorn season right now, or at least as for the month of January. Um, a very happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there, by the way, and also a very happy birthday to the January Aquarians. Yeah. But um, I do recommend that people do watch the Capricorn reading because even if you don't have Capricorn in your chart, uh, it can give you a good amount of insight as to um, you know what you could expect during Capricorn season. Moving Moving forward, I do think I want to do that more often. I may actually just start doing a reading, a separate reading for the season that we're moving into because I kind of feel like, uh, you know, I don't want you guys' readings to get hijacked when it's supposed to be like, say, for Capricorn, but it turns into a big old collective reading. So that's the way it worked this time. Moving forward, I think I am going to do a separate reading because I think it would be good just to have a general reading just to see what's going on for the collective um, in terms of the different seasons that we're moving into. Also, for the readings, I have now included Jupiter in the situation. And it's funny because for the last like six months of 2019, I was kind of hearing myself say and want to say Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I just never actually did it. Um, but starting this year, it is a thing. Um, Jupiter is a great way, like say if you're looking in terms of love, if you're looking for like a husband or your or like a masculine counterpart, you would look to your Jupiter sign. And conversely, if you were looking for like a wife or a feminine counterpart, you would look to your Venus sign. But also Jupiter is a planet of luck um, and, and finance and fortune and whatnot. And so if you kind of want to see like maybe how your career is going or whatnot, whatever, you might want to look at Jupiter. Yeah. So I just threw that in there. Um, in case you guys were interested, yes. Also, moving on into 2020, my channel is now 
up and eligible for memberships and with memberships come different tiers of perks and whatnot and so over the year of 2020 i am going to be rolling that out i have some planning to do with it i wish i could roll it out you know january 1st it's ready to go but that's really not realistic because i didn't get the email the notification about it until like mid-December when I was actually, I was in the middle of recording the last Twin Flame reading that I did for December, which is a great one. If you haven't seen it yet, absolutely go ahead and watch that. But I got the email during that reading. And so I'm now, I got to take some time to plan and see what I want to do, what kind of perks I want to offer um, and all that kind of stuff. But that is coming. I'm super, super excited about that. Um, I'm going to be going through a whole rebranding process during the month of, or during the year of 2020. So I'm super, super excited to bring you guys more content. And I would, if you're interested in becoming a member, I would highly recommend that you do that because then that's going to provide me with more financial stability in order to devote more time to the channel and to the readings and to you guys. And there are more things that I want to offer, like tarot uh, services, like count, um, uh, counseling services. If you're interested in learning the tarot, um, that might actually be a membership perk that I'll offer, like a you know for members only weekly like tarot masterclass or some something like that. You know what I mean? I mean it's just an idea, but um, if you are interested in membership, I would highly recommend that you consider doing so once it's available, because again, that will allow me more time um, and, to be able to devote. To the channel yes okay guys so i guess that's it i'm gonna stop rambling and let's just get into the reading yeah cool hey there capricorn welcome to your reading for january 2020 welcome to the new year you guys so let's get straight into this here your pre-shuffle energy feels really really good Overall, we're starting you off with the star, yeah? Wish fulfillment, dreams coming true, but then coupled, uh, also maybe even healing, but coupled with the Empress and the Eight of Pentacles here, I really feel like this is about you being in a natural place, in a natural state right now to really bring some sort of new business opportunities business goals uh, business sure definitely because of capricorn but it doesn't necessarily have to be business it's just whatever it is you truly want to manifest whatever it is you truly want to bring to fruition in your life maybe just this time period in your in your life this could be a long-term goal that you may have had for a long time this also may become maybe something new that you you know a new creative project or a new path that you're working on that you're moving that you're walking in your life right now um th there there is fertile energy there's abundance here and I'm, I'm kind of getting a sense of a little bit of cocooning um with this empress energy here the oh i just realized i don't have my light on with this empress energy here um and the the eight of pentacles i just get this sense that you know you're gonna be hunkered down and sheltering and really doing you know the hard work or the the mundane work to to create whatever it is you you you've set out to create whatever it is you desire to manifest um the eight of pentacles can be a very repetitive card it can be a very mundane card this talks about doing you know the step by step going through the step by step process being fully focused on that step by step process to create whatever it is you desire there's a lot of fertile energy around you um the universe is really going to be helping you here giving you uh, showering you with the abundance of resources or opportunities that you're going to need to really bring whatever it is you desire to fruition i mean this is this is great this is really great okay so that's your priest shuffle here let's get into the rest of the reading for you capricorn and we're doing sun moon rising venus and jupiter here yes all right so i'm gonna give this one more shuffle curious to see what this card is because it jumped out okay so here's we have strength here this is um this card i turned this over because as i was shuffling it jumped out at me so i wanted to see what it was and the message here is you need to be strong you need to re be resilient you need to be willing to run the marathon this is not a sprint 
you guys, okay? And just because we're in Capricorn season right now, and even if you're not a Capricorn or you don't have Capricorn as a main placement in your life or in your chart, this still could be energies that are affecting you because we are in Capricorn season right now, right? Or at least as the time of this recording and the time period, most of the time period that we're looking at here because tropical or Western astrology, we're gonna move into Aquarius season towards the end of January. But as of right now, as for the time period that this reading is meant for, this is for Capricorn season. And just because we're in, I'm sorry, so so you're going to need to be willing to run the marathon. And this, I definitely feel like this energy is going to extend beyond Capricorn season, okay? 2020 is going to be a very big year of bringing your thoughts, desires, and creative projects into fruition, all right? Capricorn, being in Capricorn season right now, and the, these energies that Capricorn has for us um, is really setting the stage, helping us lay the groundwork, helping us start to get the momentum going. So you really need to be resilient. You need to be strong. You need to believe in yourself. You need to be disciplined, okay, to a certain extent. We're not talking extreme amounts of discipline, but you got to be willing to run the marathon. This is not a, this is not a sprint, okay? This is not a short-term endeavor. This is long-term. We're looking long-term here. We're looking... Um, uh, what are we looking? We're looking longevity. We're looking um, uh, legacy even, okay? This could even be a situation in which maybe you're preparing for some sort of family dynamic um, and preparing for a legacy for your children for future generations. I mean, even if you're not of that age yet to really start thinking about that consciously, this could be part of that. Whatever you're embarking on right now could absolutely be part of that. Now, if that's filling you with anxiety, if that's freaking you out, don't worry about that. You don't have to be thinking that far. But anyway, that's the feeling that I'm getting from this. Also, as I was channeling the Capricorn energy, I was hearing Saturn return. Now, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, but specifically, a Saturn return is a very specific point in your life. Now, I'm not a full astrologer here. I really would not be able to do justice as to what a Saturn return would mean for you or when it even happens, because as far as I'm aware, it's I'm confused as to when it actually happens in your chart, but it's basically when... Um, Saturn makes a full, you know, uh, revolution through your chart. Now, you would need to um, research that. And if that resonates with you, then that might be a special message for you within this reading. Okay, but I'm just going to leave it there. I'm not going to try and define that for you. If that piques your interest and your intuition is saying, hey, you should look into that 555 five, five on the counter, then look it up. Okay, excellent. Let's get into this here. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for Capricorn at this time. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of January 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, we're giving this five shuffles. Let's see what we've got. One, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Two. Three. Four. and five all right kids let's see what we've got for this capricorn energy for the month of january 2020 Boop. <coughs> 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 Ooh, overall energy is the lovers okay so this could be a strong month for unions of the divine masculine and divine feminine this could very well be the union between divine masculine and divine feminine within the self, which ultimately will, once uh, adequately anchored um, at, and sufficiently integrated, will reflect into your external reality. This also could be an energy of, in the external, union between the masculine and the feminine uh, coming together. 
okay? Um, what I'm also getting with this lover's energy is a connection with the self and being in tune with your higher awareness of what it is you truly desire in your life. Um, the lovers can represent a choice between, uh, I see it as a choice between vice or virtue. Vice maybe being um, the depiction of this masculine or in biblical terms, this I believe would be Adam. Come on, focus, you silly thing. Um, focus, uh, focus, Adam or the masculine in front of this burning bush versus Eve or the feminine in front of um, the tree of knowledge, I believe it is. Um, but also, you know, in vice or versa, I'm sorry, vice or virtue, vice being the, des the wants, the needs, the desires, and the opinions of others versus virtue being the wants, desires, opinions of your own heart, of your own self. And I really feel like January 2020 could strongly influence individuals to focus on what it, and doing what is right for them and pursuing what their heart desires rather than giving up all their power to external sources or external beings, whatnot, whatever, okay? External, external circumstances as well. There's a lot of, also, there's a lot of creative energy that's coming through with this lover's energy, especially when we're talking in terms of the balance between masculine and feminine energy, whereas the feminine would be the womb by which the masculine would fertilize and then, and thus give birth to new, new life, which was represented in that empress energy that came out in the pre-shuffle, yes? Underneath the lovers, we have the two of pentacles. All right, so this is very much a strong energy of integrating the masculine and feminine energy within and bringing balance to your life as a result of that, okay? Um, especially with this pentacles energy, we could be talking finances. However, I'm just overall, I'm feeling that this is a very strong energy of finding balance within, which then resonates or, or reflects into your external reality. Underneath the two of pentacles, you do have the page of pentacles. So there you go, a brand new start. I, oft, I often see the page of pentacles as a level up. You breaking into this new sense of awareness, potentially this new sense of consciousness, this new physical reality, the embarking on a brand new journey, often feeling maybe like that toddler that's just trying to really walk, um, is going from, is cr from being able to crawl and now being able to walk and having to find their footing, feeling a little bit shaky, um, a new opportunity. This also could be a new commitment in love, um, something starting fresh, uh, someone making a commitment to you or you making a commitment to someone else. Embarking on a new journey is really the, the strongest overall energy I'm hearing here. Underneath the Page of Pentacles, oh, you have the world. Oh, guys, this is a really beautiful energy. So whether you are actually a Capricorn, um, you have Capricorn uh, in your placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, or if you're just watching this to get a kind of a sense of what, may, what Capricorn season might mean for you, ultimately, change is afoot. Okay, 11-11 uh, on the counter, wow. Okay, change is afoot. Um, I really feel like 2019 was definitely a year to, a, a Spirit just said, a year of endings, a year to wrap things up, you know, to wrap up all the superfluousness. And now that we're in Capricorn season, it's like, all right, kids, we're getting down to work because we have something new to create. Beautiful. I love it, you guys. Okay, let's get into the rest of the reading here. In the first half, first half, second half of the reading, you could look at this as first half, second half of the reading, or you could look at it as first half, second half of your month. Take it however resonates, okay? First set of surrounding energies for you for this in this Capricorn energy, you have the King of Pentacles. This could be Taurus energy. It also could be a sense of being well manifested and secure, stable, stable and strong within yourself, stepping into January 2019. I'm sorry, 2020, or at least this could be an energy that you are working on cultivating throughout January 2020. I do like to see Capricorn or do like to um, describe Capricorn as the uh, CEO of the Zodiac. And you can kind of see this King of Pentacles energy as a CEO or just someone that is a leader, someone is that is in control, the master of their own domain even, even though we don't really have 
uh, the emperor here, it doesn't matter because officially the emperor is, you know, the master of their own domain, the, the ultimate leader. But here with this king of pentacles energy, what I'm feeling either for you Capricorn or at least in this Capricorn energy, there is a sense of being well manifested and secure and solid and stable within yourself. This doesn't necessarily have to mean that, you know, you have all kinds of finances and like you have this big time career and you have this big house with all this fancy stuff. No, if it does mean that for you, then excellent. Kudos to you. But if it doesn't mean that, it means that this is just spiritually or in your inner sense of foundation within yourself. This is who you are, or at least this is what you're striving towards. Okay. King of Pentacles is coupled with there's woo there's the star again so also what this is kind of saying here with this king of pentacles is if you oh yeah with this king of pentacles if this is what you're striving for being this solid stable and secure maybe masculine energy if that resonates with you or just um whatever it doesn't it doesn't matter um this is coming. This wish fulfillment is coming through. This is what you're working on. This is what you're striving towards. Um, so it could be that, yes, this is what's coming, or it could just be that you are already in this King of Pentacles energy. And now because of that, you have wish fulfillment on the horizon. Dreams are actually about to come through. And this is mainly because you are solid and stable within yourself and you're independent. You're not allowing anyone to tell you, to sway you. Of all the kings in the deck and all kings all the kings represent fixed energy right so a fixed energy is really hard to move really hard to budge right but of all of them that king of pentacles is like straight up immovable like the king of pentacles is not just that mountain i'm sorry not just that rock but he's the whole fucking mountain you know what i mean so like it's gonna take an like a, an unthinkable force to move this energy and and in this sense that's where you know the king of pentacles or the earth signs even can get their their stubborn qualities from but it's this sense of stubbornness that is actually going to benefit you because you're staying stable and solid within yourself you are making the choice to follow your own heart to follow your own passions and your own desires and you're not going to allow anyone to sway you period <laughs> That's beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Capricorn. You have the wolf. Where, what did I say? There you have the seven of wands. This is bound. These are boundaries. All right. Be careful that these boundaries do not become blockages. That's a message that I got personally in a personal reading not too long ago. Very actually, very recently. And I, now that I I heard that and I see that within myself, I am. I am, I'm throwing that out there for everyone else that needs to hear it because it's not really about having such strong boundaries that you're blocking things from moving forward or coming into fruition or coming into your life. It's more about just make, maintaining firm boundaries and just saying, this is what I want and this is who I am. Take it or leave it. We can either work together or we can go our separate ways. I'm not trying to make an enemy out of you, but also I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to sit here and putz around with you if you're just going to... I don't know, blow smoke up my ass or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Beautiful. Seven of Wands is coupled with. Oh, the Four of Wands. You know, this really feels like an energy of um, being super solid and stable within yourself. So either you're working towards this or you're in this energy right now. But the reason why you have this either reality of the King of Pentacles being solid and stable and secure in yourself, well manifested as the individual that you are, or at least you're working there, uh, working towards that, is because you have this spiritual foundation, the four of wands, and the and the subsequent boundaries to not only maintain, but to continue to nurture and facilitate the reality of this balance and spiritual foundation. Wow, this is really, really good energy. I'm hearing Saturnian energy, but this right here, if, if, if because Saturn gets a bad rap all the time, it's seen. It's like it, Saturn is kind of seen as like the 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 crotchety old man, the curmudgeon of you know all of the 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 planets. But if you really embrace Saturn and what Saturn's energy, the potential that Saturn's energy can can do for you in your life, Saturn really could be your best friend ultimately in this three-dimensional physical world and i know i've come to understand that like at first when i started really looking into astrology and reading about what the sign what the planets really represent 
and how their energies work. I got to Saturn and I was like, oh God, I don't want to deal with that. But now that I've really been in this energy of having to deal with it, because really you're not going to escape it, guys. But now that I'm really in it and I've gotten comfortable in it, I'm like, yo, Saturn, my dude, like, <laughs> you know, you're fucking awesome, man. You know what I mean? And that's kind of the res that's what's that's how this is res resonating here. That's kind of the mindset that I feel coming through with this for for us. Whether again, whether you are actually a Capricorn, whether you have Capricorn as a major placement, or you're just watching this for a feel of the Capricorn season energies. Okay, challenge in the first half of the reading here, the Ten of Pentacles, the longevity. This could be seen as, you know, a lesson learned, a completion, a completion of a cycle, but with what we're talking about here in terms of what it is you want to create, what you want to manifest, looking on down the road, because the Ten of Pentacles is that representation of longevity, um, uh, uh, legacy, and being in it for the long haul. Your challenge, and I know, I'm, and I'm picking this up specifically for maybe some fire signs, I felt that specifically, but also maybe even water signs. Your challenge is to be in this for the long haul. This is not something that's going to happen overnight. And quite frankly, nor do you want it to, okay? Because if it is something that happens overnight, the, the, the potential for the overwhelm that could come from that is like terrifying. That could completely sabotage everything you may have been working towards. So keep in, keep in your mindset that we're running a marathon here. This is not a sprint. We're running a marathon here. If you even want to see it as running, you could even see this as a long distance hike. We don't have to run, but we do have to move. Yes? Okay. Ten of Pentacles is coupled with the Four of Cups. But you see, but you see, y'all, some of you out there are like, oh, I don't want to take forever. Why can't we, why can't this just happen like yesterday? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Look, and if you want to be that whiny little, little thing, Saturn is going to whip you into shape so quick. So quick. Okay? You, you got to pull up. Pull up, bitch. <laughs> All right? We got, we got shit to do. We got work to do. And no, it's not always going to be easy. No, it's not always going to be fun. But damn it, it needs to be done. This is what you want? Then do the work. Period. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I don't want to hear boo about it. I don't want to hear another word out of you talk about how it's too hard. Damn it. If it's worth doing, then do it. If it's worth doing, then it's probably going to be pretty challenging. But that's the thing about it. That's the thing that the part of what Saturn really wants to help you realize. You have the power, the wherewithal to do it. Okay. Yes, and this is where that Saturn return energy is coming through. Saturn return is going to be a challenge for you, is what I heard. But you have got the might to do it, all right? You just have to believe in yourself. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here for, uh, for you, Capricorn. We have the Hermit. Excellent. So now this is that energy that I was talking about of maybe going into a little bit of a cocooning phase, maybe feeling like, you know, you need to like separate yourself or just hunker down and maybe not really be out in the world so much. I mean, that, that uh, that's pretty easy to do. I know it's going to be fairly easy for me to do. I mean, I'm a Taurus, so, and I love being out in nature, but during the winter, honey, up here in the Northern Hemisphere, I ain't trying to be outside. <laughs> you best, you trust and believe Ever since I felt that that first sign of fall coming through at the very end of this past summer in 2019, I was like, hibernation season, let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, also, the other thing that's coming through with this hermit energy is getting in tune and in touch with yourself, which is helping you to facilitate this balance and union of masculine and feminine within. Okay? Excellent. Excellent, excellent. The hermit is coupled with the high priestess. Now, what I'm getting with this is um, going within and figuring out what it is you want to do in life, sure. But also this time period of really 
maybe even hermiting or just maybe taking a good amount of time for yourself is going to help you receive a lot of downloads. It's going to help you receive a lot of information, um, a lot of maybe even epiphanies. I'm just, I'm picking up a very strong sense of deep conversations with the universe that are helping you get down to the nitty gritty potentially of who you truly are on a much grander or deeper scale, especially for those of you that might be experiencing some sort of Saturn return in your life right now. I mean, and some of this, and this, I'm picking up specifically some of this is going to smack some of y'all right upside the head. Like you didn't even see it coming. There could be some realizations about yourself that you're coming to terms with that you were not expecting at all. And that could be really challenging, really challenging, but it's worth it. It is absolutely worth it because ultimately it's going to place you in firmer, on firmer ground, in firmer foundation. It's going to help you be this much more well manifested version of yourself than you may have ever been in the past with this King of Pentacles energy. It's going to help you embark on this new dream, this new journey, or this new creative path. It's going to help you balance the, the, the find the balance of masculine and feminine within to integrate that, and then and then as a result express that, reflect that into your external reality. Yes. Oh, I'm loving this reading right now. I am loving this for all of us, okay? Okay, second set, or I'm sorry, getting into the second half of your reading here at Capricorn. First set of surrounding energies you have, oh, well, would you look at that? None other than the fool embarking on a brand new journey. Now, I'm also kind of feeling that this is kind of it. This really could be an energy for some of us, uh, maybe if not, if not all of us, moving towards Aquarius season, which is so funny because right above that is the star, which is a symbol of the Aquarius. So for some of you, if not all, well, no, for some of us here, moving into the, the end of January is going to really, you're going to have this, you have this cocooning phase throughout Capricorn season, and then we move forward into Aquarius season, and now you're taking the leap of faith. Now you're move, really embarking on um, this new individual path, this new sense of self, expressing this new sense of self maybe, okay? But also with the fool is just is is there right so I really do feel like um, regardless of the sign and regardless of the 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 season that we might be in this cocooning phase that you might be feeling here in the beginning of of January will then lead to you stepping out on your own and maybe even emerging from your cocoon with this fool energy and this honestly could even extend past you know the end of january this could be something that comes on another maybe in a few more months that for some of you you know don't don't get so caught up on the time period or the timing you know in terms of what we consciously understand as time because again time is an illusion and energies are fluid yes the fool is coupled with the nine of wands okay now the message here is again you got to be in it for the long haul don't give up. What this is also saying here is for some of you is you have taken this leap of faith for a reason. Don't forget why you have taken this leap of faith. Don't forget why you have embarked on this new journey, this new phase in your life. Yeah, it's going to be a challenge. Anything is going to be a challenge. That's what life is. Life is challenging, but it's also rewarding. Saturn isn't the type of energy that's going to put you through a bunch of bullshit and then sit you down and say, okay, here's your popsicle. No, Saturn is going to put you through a bunch of bullshit and then reward you for that. But you got to get through it first and you got to persevere. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where that analogy came from. Okay, here's your popsicle. <laughs> but you know, it's something like I, I was going for an energy of something that just seems like completely insignificant insignificant in terms of what all the hell that you just went through, right? Okay. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Capricorn, you have ooh, the eight of swords. But what I'm picking up specifically here is for some of you, the, the yeah, breaking free from some sort of sense of mental prison or confinement. And for some of you, this is an energy of seeing some sort of confinement or mental prison that you've in, in a, been in in a very different light and maybe even understanding how, um, how it actually helped you. Getting a different perspective on it, I guess. 
and maybe getting that different perspective is kind of um, taking some of the edge off, numbing some of the pain. And, I, and, and numbing the pain isn't so good, uh, relieving, not numbing, relieving some of the pain or taking a bit of the edge off, right? Eight of Swords is coupled with the Ace of Wands. It's setting you free. Okay, definitely, definitely releasing yourself from some sort of mental prison that you may have been in, some sort of confinement that you may have been in that is allowing you to express yourself fully or to move in some sort of um, new creative direction. Now, the other thing about this could be maybe you do have this inspiration to move in a different direction, but you need to free yourself first in order to really take advantage of the opportunity in front of you to move in this new direction, okay? All right. So then your challenge <clears throat> in the second half of your reading here, Capricorn, you have, ah, there it is. There it is right there. The energy that is going to allow you to break free from these chains should you still find yourself here. So if you are finding that you want to move in a new creative direction, you want to do something new, you want to take a leap of faith, you want to embark on a new project or whatnot, whatever, but you're finding all of these different reasons why you can't, your challenge in this energy here is to step into the energy of the King of Swords and say, okay, let's look at this. Let's, let's, uh, mm, let's look at this and see, see all this for what it truly is and not take it just on face value, which might be the reason why you're feeling confined. It's like, okay, sure, you have all of these perceived obstacles in the way, but when you really get down to it, is it really that much of an obstacle? Can't you just find a way to remove that from your space? Like, let's, like, like honestly, honestly, and this is another, this is an, uh, another depiction of Aquarian energy as the King of Swords, but like, uh, let's be real here. Okay, let's look at this objectively. How much of an obstacle is that really? Like, I'm pretty sure we can find a way to get around that. Can't we? Says the King of Swords. Like, look, I mean, look at his face. It's like, really? I mean, come on. R like, no, really? <laughs> King of Swords is coupled with... Really, y'all? King of Swords with the Nine of Swords. I mean, come on. Really? Let's look at this honestly, truthfully. Like, stop taking this for face value and look beneath the surface. Get the emotions out of the way and look at this as it truly is. Stop letting this stop you. Stop letting this hinder you. It's an illusion. I mean, look at this Nine of Swords energy. There are nine swords um, up there above her or above this person, whether it's a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. But only six of them are actually piercing through her. There's three of them that aren't, or could potentially pierce through them, right? I mean, okay, that, that there's still, okay, so then you're gonna say, all right, fine, but there's still six swords that could hurt me. But, but really though, the nine of swords is an energy of illusion, self-fulfilling prophecies. So the more you focus on those six potential dangerous swords, the more dangerous they're gonna get. Instead of focusing on that, focus on the truth of the matter. And the truth of the matter is the inspiration that you're feeling, right? Closing message or potential outcome for you Capricorn in January 2020, we have, oh shoot. Well, this is interesting. We have the Ace of Swords, but the Ace of Swords is reversed. And I don't try to read reversals in this deck, but here it is. And I'm going to leave it this way. Somebody is deceiving themselves. Stop it. You stop it right now. <laughs> Ace of Swords in reverse is coupled with. Look at that. The queen of pentacles, the queen to the king. And this is also an official depiction of Capricorn energy. The only other card that would, that would you know, really represent Capricorn energy is the devil. And we don't have that here. But we do have the queen of pentacles. And you know what this is saying here? Stop lying to yourself because you know just how abundant you are. You know how, just how capable you are. Be truthful and be honest and stick with that. Don't allow the, the illusions to stop you. 
And also keeping in the theme of what we were be we began with, with the lovers here, we've got the balance between masculine and feminine. There you have it, kids. Okay, so now let's get your Oracle guidance for the month of January, 2019. One last shuffle. All right, here we go. Oracle guidance for Capricorn, please, for the month of January 2019. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Capricorn energy. There it is. Right there. Card number 24. Pueo. Guardian of the... Aumakua. Aumakua? Aumakua. Pueo. Now 24 boils down to a six. Six is a number of harmony. And I'm hearing union between the masculine and the feminine. Beautiful. Ooh, I, wow. I turned right to it. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Focus, focus, focus. That's fine. No matter how compelling an experience of challenge, darkness, or defeat may seem, you have divine protection and the promise of safe passage through to the dawn. Sorry, I really want this to focus. There we go. Okay. You will see and hear truth of the light. You shall not be alone on this journey. Soul guides now help you find your true north. If you have been proceeding along a dangerous path, even unknowingly, Pueo will navigate you safely away from evil and ill wishing, guiding you back to your higher purpose and sacred path. And then this card says, in a reading, this says, information that may have been hidden for a time will come to light. There is, there is a guiding intelligence assisting you safely through a situation in your life that is otherwise confusing or dangerous for you. There are divine powers helping you in all situations to do with battles, unfairness, or injustice, whether you are consciously aware of these things or not. Trust in the signs that you see and especially in the truth that you hear, sometimes beneath what is actually being said. The accuracy of your insights and perceptions are heightened at this time. Aumakua, in Hawaiian, refers to venerable ancestors. This oracle also indicates that loved ones on the other side are sending you love and assistance and are receiving your prayers and intentions for their for for their own healing yes all right capricorn so there you have it thank you so much for tuning in i hope this was helpful for you again if you'd like a look into your own personal situation please don't hesitate to email me all of the information is in the description box below but with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of February. Yes? Take care. Mwah. Bye.